Bruner, Learning Theory and Education. Jerome Bruner, in full Jerome Seymour Bruner, an American psychologist and educator who developed theories on perception, learning, memory, and other aspects of cognition in young children. Bruner, 1961, proposes that learners construct their own knowledge and do this by organizing and categorizing information using a coding system. Bruner's three modes of representation. Modes of representation are the way in which information or knowledge are stored and encoded in memory. In active representation, zero to one year, children respond to sensory stimuli. A representation of objects and events through action and movement. Examples are muscle memory like that of shaking of a rattle. For instance, newborns don't have muscle memory for activities like crawling, scooting or walking. The only way for the muscles to become accustomed to these activities is for the baby to learn how to do these things and then practice them with a great deal of trial and error. As the baby becomes a skilled walker, he falls less, is able to balance, and finally is able to incorporate other activities into his life such as running. Muscle memory is found in many everyday activities that become automatic and improve with practice, such as riding bicycles, driving motor vehicles, playing ball sports, typing on keyboards, entering pins, playing musical instruments, martial arts, and dancing. Iconic representation, 1 to 6 years. Representation through visual or images form. This is the ability to store a mental picture in the mind's eye. For example, a child drawing an image of a tree or thinking of an image of a tree would be representative of this stage. Symbolic representation, seven years onwards. This develops last. This is where information is stored in the form of a code or symbol, such as language. Knowledge is stored primarily as words, mathematical symbols, or in other symbol systems, such as music. For Brunner, 1961, the purpose of education is not to impart knowledge but instead to facilitate a child's thinking and problem-solving skills which can then be transferred to a range of situations. Specifically, education should also develop symbolic thinking in children.